Delta State Governor Ifan Yokowa has called his administration high in infrastructure development, healthcare delivery, education, and job creation as he renders his account of stewardship of the past six years in office. In a live broadcast to residents, he stated that despite the impacts of economic recession and 2020 COVID-19 pandemic, his administration performed creditably well, as clearly shown by ranking of the state in poverty to population. After the honor to the Almighty for all he achieved in the past 60 years as governor of Delta State, it was time to render account of his stewardship to the people. Choosing the executive chambers, Governor Okoa says, though 2016 economic recession and the 2020 COVID-19 pandemic negatively affected his administration, but this did not stop his administration from delivering on infrastructure development and education. No area was left out, from urban to rural, down to the River Rhine. We have embarked on a total of 799 road projects, comprising 1,577.8 kilometers of roads and 908.8 kilometers of drain, drainage channels. This administration is particularly proud of its achievements in road construction in our riverine communities. It amply demonstrates our political will to bring development to every part of the state, no matter how remote. Infrastructure, our primary and secondary schools continue to receive priority attention with the construction, reconstruction, renovation and equipping of 8,617 classroom blocks and administrative buildings. He stated that in the head sector, outside upgrading and renovating 209 primary healthcare centers, the state is the first to launch the Universal Health Coverage Scheme. The Delta State Contributory Health Commission. As of today, the scheme has 906,768 enrollees providing primary and secondary health care services under the scheme are 471 accredited public and private health care facilities. Governor Okoa says his administration created job for its steaming youths as the several programs benefited over 1,000 youths and this accounted why the state was rated as a second on poverty to population. Delta was a joy to to be the second least poor state coming only after Lagos, Nigeria's business hub. This achievement is better appreciated when just opposed with the fact that Delta State was the 12th poorest state in Nigeria as at 2010. He also stated that in sports, the states did well, evident in the win recorded by the athletes at Edo 2020 National Sports Festival. With two years remaining for Governor Okowa, he promised to scale up his effort to ensure better performance. Ikenna Amici, TVC News, Asaba.